Bucko's Bounty. Yo, Bucko, it's Zero coming back to you with another figure of you. Today, we weren't expecting special forces. We got the Stars Black series and Inferno Squad Agent. Now, this was originally a GameStop exclusive. And I still, I actually believe it is still a GameStop exclusive. Um, this is one of the only GameStop exclusives to be. This is one of the. This got re released alongside Commander Wolf, um, the Purge Trooper, um, and Commander Gree, and then the Gamorrean Guard and Grievous, you know, all those exclusive ones. But you have this guy, or girl, however you want to look at it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why it's taking me so long to get this in my collection, but. I, yeah, this is gonna help round off my Imperial collection. Now I'm only missing like, I want to say like eight figures now that are Empire related. So we're getting there. We're really getting there. I'm gonna, you know what? So there's not a lot of Black Series uh, figures coming out over the next couple months. So I mean, there's like two or three. I think I'm gonna try to round off the rest of the Empire in that time. So we'll see if I can do it. But anyways, you know what? I always wonder too. How did a squad, how did about, you know, a couple hundred elite troops get defeated by a, you know, maybe like 50 troops at most and, a, you know, teddy bears? I always wonder that, you know, they're all missing their shot. It, it just makes no sense, especially since these are legions of my best troops. Anyway, getting sidetracked, let's go ahead and get into this box. And because this is one of the GameStop exclusives, and technically one of the first gaming greats, so you got the Battlefront 2 logo. It's pretty sick. And this is one of the few boxes with red on it. Um, I showed it off in the past. I don't want to dig out because my, my uh, box collection is a mess at the moment. But you got all the red on the portrait. That's beautiful. This is a beautiful box displaying it's definitely going to be a standout among your red boxes just because of that yeah but i i consider this a gaming rates personally so you got feral squad agent agent de la squad infernal then <laughs> inferno squad agent again inferno squad agent in the wake of the death star's destruction the empire created the inferno squad to ensure that imperial secrets would remain safe their fierce loyalty to the empire and exceptional skills in both aerial and ground combat set the squad apart from the ranked and filed troopers and then you get another beautiful look at that portrait awesome somewhere i think there are full like body portraits of full body drawings i would love to see what this one looks like again you got inferno wow that actually fits the whole thing inferno that would actually be really cool if you displayed the, the old box like this inferno squad agent awesome all right and let's go ahead and get these special forces on the ground all right and here i want to say she but it could be either gender honestly is out of the packaging and interesting okay so there are some things i can already see that i like about this and there are some things i can see that i already dislike about this before any of that let's go ahead and get straight into the accessories all right and technically i just noticed she comes with two accessories and you're probably like what the hell so yeah the very first accessory is her e11 of course and this is actually really nicely done in this kind of gunmetal gray silver with her it's the it's the gunmetal black with like a gray wash over it. It's actually really nicely done. Um, definitely gonna be using this one for her. You know what, we're gonna go with it. She's a her. It's not uh, Iden Verzio, I think is her name. Yeah. This is not Iden Verzio. This is definitely just one of the Inferno Squad troopers. So hopefully we do get Iden Verzio at some point, especially with that little droid that she has would absolutely love that and I would absolutely love it if they go, went back and made inquisitors with that with the droid so I think that is very similar droid to what the inquisitor would have so sucks that it doesn't come with that accessory but yeah back to the E11 very simple very cool and that goes ahead and just you know plugs straight into here now you're probably wondering that's all the accessories right but you'll notice something different and I noticed it straight out of the packaging I was like what the hell is this belt from because this belt is definitely not the same belt that's on the TIE fighter pilot 
So, what is it? Well, on, in the original Orange Box release of Han Solo and the 40th anniversary card back, this was on Han Solo, except it was in the white because it was the Stormtrooper belt. So this actually actually comes off, which is really freaking cool. So now you can actually see what it looks like without the belt on. <laughs> But yeah, that's actually really cool. So here's a better look at this belt. Very freaking nice. Oh yeah, my favorite. This is the freaking uh, unreadables. But yeah, and that's also another thing is the the holster is way freaking different. But this is really freaking cool. I actually really like this because even if you don't use this on this character, you could always throw this on something else that needs a weapon belt. So it's always good for customs. We're going to go ahead and throw this back on real quick and jump straight into the figure. So now you're probably wondering, okay, it's like the rest of the mold, if you have seen my TIE Fighter Pilot review, which honestly, go back and watch my other Imperial Mondays because you can see the evolution of content on my channel. And honestly, and I just want to give a huge thank you, honestly, to anyone who's been around since the since before my um my mando week thing that i did back in december so if you remember any videos before that and you stuck around for this channel or you're clicking on this channel again honestly thank you i i can't thank you enough you've really given me a chance because my content i'm not gonna lie was garbage like i go back and look at go back and watch my first imperial monday i'm gonna create the playlist and or my original TIE Fighter pilot review and you can see just how much my quality has improved over time so honestly thank you guys you're the real one comment in in the if you've been here since before that go ahead and comment down in the comment section below I want to see how many of there are you or you know even if you're new I want to see how many of you guys are paying attention go ahead and comment down below because I love you all anyways so yeah it's the same exact mold um, same exact I actually feel like it's done in a glossier black here I don't know but yeah the main difference is right away as you can tell the Imperial logos uh, the Imperial logo is done in red and on the other side you got your Inferno squad symbol which is very nice and this is where I start to get iffy actually before that you notice the the visor color tints are actually done in a red which makes this pop a lot more very cool then on the side you got your very poorly painted on red um, I don't know if that's a QC or if it's like that in the game I really don't think it's like that in the game but I mean it could be who knows kind of like that and I kind of don't because it looks like the helmet is customized so ah. It's still kind of cool. Honestly, it's really unique. It's definitely going to stand out, like, on the shelf. So that's really cool. And then here's your kind of stripey things. Kind of got a very similar thing going on with the Inquisitors. So I really like the red. The red just really pops next to the black. And you don't have that on this side. So real quick, yes, gloves are the same. And then, of course, the Imperial logo gets traded out. And then on this side, it's almost the exact same except for your imperial logo gets traded out again and then even the comm buttons are different so I'm really glad they didn't just throw on the same exact paint apps on everything and the front um, even these paint apps are like better or nice these you know you get these like bright nice colors for the uh, chest piece very cool and I should say these hoses do pop out just in case you're wondering just in case you wanted to put a custom head on one of these guys all right getting out to the chest piece like I said it's the same exact thing from the waist down I actually don't think there's any difference besides the belt so yeah taking off the belt this is actually probably one of the only times you're ever gonna get a good look at what this torso and back piece looks like is that actually wow I thought that was a QC but at first that's actually a line that's so random. That's just a random ass design choice. Okay. 
Also, there is a QC on my helmet. I'm not sure if that's intentional or what. They did a number with this red paint, let me tell you that much. So at least it's a unique figure, goddamn. <laughs> I kind of want to pick up one more of these because I, I kind of don't want him to be solo. But I'm going to have to actually find these in store first, which is going to be a bitch. I am not ordering another one. I don't even know if you can order another one. And eBay prices got rid It's funny. Like I said, I don't really know what the hell is going on with the eBay prices. But I feel like they're really cheap until Hasbro announced they're re-releasing them or something. So it makes me wonder. But yeah, there's stripes here. Striped there, but on the other side, it's the same as that paint app. It almost makes me wonder are these even the same legs? These are definitely the same legs, but why is this one like so much straighter? What the hell? Weird. Very weird. I'm not sure there. So that's gonna be a bitch to pose later on. I already know that, but. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and get into articulation now. So the head is on a hinge that goes up into a ball joint. So you go that far up, that far down. So not, not the greatest movement ever. Better movement without the hose. As you see, it just popped out right there. Then you got a hinge and swivel at the shoulder. Bam, bam, bam. You got no bicep swivel on this one. Um, but you do have a hinge and swivel at the shoulder, so single jointed elbows, which we are starting to get used to, but I don't contone it because we shouldn't be moving back in technology. Then there's no gauntlet swivels. This is a bit of an older mold, so I can't excuse it, I guess. Then you have, I believe, both wrists go left and right for the hinge and swivel. So yeah, both lift, both are going to go left and right for the hinge and swivel. Bam, bam, okay. Ball joint, actually no ball joint at the torso. Actually there is a ball joint at the torso because, but because of this plate you really don't get any movement out of that. Then you get it, your legs for this far, which is actually really far. Back, not too much, sideways, died swivels. And I'm gonna show off this side because this side is cooler. Then you have double jointed knees. He, she kicks her own ass. Then you have no boot swivels, which is unfortunate. Then you have a hinge at the ankle and a forward facing pin for rockers. And quickly, we need to get her onto the battlefield before the Ewoks win the Battle of Endor. Let's go. Now we're going to show him off next to some other figures. So of course, here she is next to the new and old Stormtrooper molds. And here she is next to Thrawn and Vader. And here she is next to Jedi Knight Luke and the Hoth Rebel Soldier. And here she is next to Boba and Mando. And as always, here she is next to the other Special Forces. Luke Skywalker Squawker and Old Left Limbs. And overall, I really do like this figure, but I got to admit that... It's not an essential pickup, it really isn't, um, especially the paint apps are a little messy. I do have a weird feeling, well, I am really hoping they release an Iden Verzio or, you know, some other some other Infernal Squad agents at some point, give them new articulation or something, 
hell but this is a good like squad builder so if you wanted to pick up you know one or two of these to kind of uh, troop build would be pretty cool I am definitely thinking of grabbing another one so that if they ever do make an Iden Verzio I have a little Inferno squad but anyways this one this was really cool definitely if you want this now's your chance to grab her um, so be checking out your local game stops I don't know if you can get this online anymore I got really lucky when this pre-order came up I was like oh I need this figure I don't want to pay 35 40 dollars for it so anyways you could bring her in warm or you could bring her in cold thanks for watching and good hunting